Hey YouTube, I'm Street Leader Carts. Yeah, I really ain't done much. It's uh, pretty bad. Um, so I got a lot of questions about that aquaponic system, and I've made some modifications to it, and um. I figured I'd share some of them with you. Um, you know, I encourage you guys to look me up on Facebook. My real name is Jacob Reed. All right, I'm constantly posting things about this system on Facebook. It has really, really blown me away with how well it works, how quick things grow, and uh, how simple and cheap it is to do. Um, it's really incredible. Uh, I, I, I thoroughly believe that um, this is farming of the future. But without further ado, here's, here's the fish swimming away as usual. You can see I filled the water up. The water's at the correct level right now. And they're all happy and swimming around because I just turned the light on so they think they're getting fed. Suckers. Ha. Huh. And if you remember from the last video, there was just this little thing with some lights on it and it has gotten a lot bigger. Why? Well, I'll show you why. We'll reach right over here and open up the door. Maybe. And we have monster plants uh, yeah so as you can see the melons are growing kinda slow the water those are watermelons they're growing kinda slow the cantaloupe it's still just a growing away the beans I don't even think the beans were in there in the last video um, I don't think I've ever seen anything grow so quick and there's the lettuce still growing away the spinach is still growing away and I moved the light up a lot in the process of doing this I broke one of my bulbs that kind of upset me but you know hey but hey I mean you don't you don't really need need to grow bulbs really um, so you know you guys I, I highly encourage any of you any of you that have a fish tank to give this a try um, it takes about six weeks to get it going right for the bacteria to grow and all of that fun stuff and you know if, if you've got any questions shoot I'll answer them. All right. Um, I've got uh, in in my girlfriend's hometown, the local pet store there is is interested in doing this. Um, they they've searched me out for some info. They want me to to help them set one up. So this is just. It, it's it's incredible how how well this works and how efficiently this works, and you know I've got like three hundred dollars invested in here. Why do I have three hundred dollars invested? Because a I didn't have fish, I didn't have a fish tank, I didn't have any of this, right? So I had to build all of it. Now I did it a, some here and some there and some here and some there. But um, the end the end result is is pretty freaking amazing. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say other than you've got to give this a try. Um, you know the you can see how clear that water is, right? It's pretty clear. There's no filter on there, just the grow bed. 
I, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, you see how how the plants are growing. A um, couple of things that I've learned is um, you got to lose your aquarium gravel. If you don't lose the aquarium gravel, you're going to be cleaning your fish tank constantly because the aquarium gravel will, will affect the, the water circulation through the tank um, and a lot of the fish waste will stay in the tank because it's caught up in the gravel and that will throw your ammonia levels into insane high parts per million, insane high. It will, um, when, you, when you grab an aquarium kit, test kit, um, it, when, when you test for ammonia, it turns the water green, right? It's supposed to turn some shade of green, okay? But it, in this system, if you have aquarium gravel in there, and, and I mean, I, I'm trying to get this down to where I don't have to do anything with it. And uh, with the aquarium gravel, you got to clean it so often because all the fish waste falls in the gravel and just sits there and that that throws the it makes that little vial of, of water turn like the darkest forest green you've ever seen so you gotta lose the gravel um, enlarge your air stone you want a really really high oxygenated water um, as you can see, this is 29 gallon tank, and that's a foot and a half airstone back there. And it was dirt cheap. And you can tell it was dirt cheap because right there, there's like hardly any bubbles coming out of it. Okay, it doesn't blow evenly. And as you can see, these were 15 cent goldfish, and they are huge. Huge. They have grown like twice their their size already. Um, the this is all just an experimental. I, I wanted to prove that this, you know, wasn't a hoax. It, it really sounded too good to be true. Um, so I built one. <laughs> and the truth is, the kids wanted fish. Um, their grandmother has fish. So. I was like, all right, we'll 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 do the fish thing. And then, because I spent so much time on YouTube, I saw this aquaponics thing. I was like, yeah, well, hey, let's do that. I mean, all the money here is really in the aquarium. It really is. Um, the the hydroton that I used cost me 40, bu 40, like 40 bucks for a 50-pound bag. Uh... The black tub is a concrete mixing tub. It was like 12 or 13 bucks. And, you know, the the 2 by 4s and, and stuff. I bought it all at Lowe's. So, there's your, there's your cost incentive. There's your pricing there. Um, I, I keep I have to keep the box on it the box isn't important the covering here you see the the great big covering um, that's really not important you don't need to have that I have it because uh, girlfriend has cats and I don't see them oh there's a cat right there and they like to eat the plants so I'm not trying to achieve a greenhouse inside. I'm just trying to keep the cats out of the grow bed. This it's really hard to talk about this because it is so simple. It's just so simple. Um, the pump that's in there, I could run two more grow beds off of that. Um, I could probably run three. Um, is a like a three to one ratio, and and I don't want to go into that because it's it's extremely confusing and extremely complicated, 
and it's just not practical to talk about things like that because um, it, it has nothing to do with water <laughs> so and it, and it took me a long time to, to understand the math um, what you what I, I really want to stress to you folks is to simply do it just literally take your aquarium let's say you have a a 29 or 30 gallon aquarium all right let's say you have a 29 or 30 gallon um, aquarium and go out to Lowe's buy yourself a concrete tub mixing tub find your local greenhouse where you can buy some hydroton or um, you can buy hydropon hydroton at um, anywhere that sells hydroponics stuff okay hydroponics think hydroponics when you're building this but all you need is a pump to pump the water into the grow bed and the necessary attachments to drain the grow bed right and there's a lot of ways to do that they've got rubber gaskets now um, bulkhead fittings stuff like that your local hydroponics gardening center will have all of that stuff here's the amazing catch okay do not I repeat do not buy any chemicals any chemicals at all none zero I hope I stress that enough if you put chemicals in this system it will kill your fish if you put chemicals in there to save your fish it will kill your plants alright I have not had any deaths in my fish that's why I chose that's why I chose 15 cent theater goldfish from Petco they're cheap fish if they die the cats love it <laughs> I know that sounds mean but I, I, I would personally rather feed that fish to the cats and have it become something beneficial then flush it down the toilet would I do that in front of my girlfriend's children no I'm not an ass because all of these goldfish now have names <laughs> um, the goal uh, sorry I got off track um, no chemicals zero chemicals all right everything grows off the fish waste I know to some that's hard to get your head around like oh my god I'm growing my stuff in pure shit all right but what you have to understand okay is diseases like E. coli okay don't exist in this system they can't survive all right all these major diseases that we have in our plants all right they they originate from a warm-blooded creature okay so that's the first thing you've got to understand fish are cold-blooded right they 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 all these diseases that we have won't survive they can't okay there is no healthier way to grow your plants it's pretty much that simple so I guess I'm gonna leave you with that information and um, I'll see you on the next video good luck I, I hope to see some of you people give this a shot I promise you you will not regret it Peace out.